Hi there and welcome back to the Children of Atlantis. This view on the Saturn habitat symbolizes where we are at the moment. It's about expansion and a sort of inner expansion never seen before. We're building habitats left and right. Everywhere where we have already settled on planets, we build habitats. Habitats, more habitats. We have even upgraded these habitats to have 15 people on them, which is quite extremely good and we're trying to put artworks on them with the help of the artisan troop it's extremely extremely expensive but sadly they cannot offer any more lest we come to believe that you didn't appreciate the ones you had already purchased we have our integrity to think about you see oh no and a festival what would a festival bring us let's see 15 opinion and happiness and pop growth speed. Ooh, 60 months. That would be also good, but we need more energy. Yeah, we have purchased a lot of these artworks, but they haven't yet been built. Project concluded. Uranus habitat pop construction is ready. It's now full. These are our research super synths. And for some reason, this one produces three, while this one produces four. Hmm. What's going on there? Ah, now it adapts. And the education campaign has expired. Well, we have to redo this, right? We want our leaders to learn. And we need better research. Let's see. Another research, I mean. Let's stay pragmatic this time. We have two things where we are not pragmatic at all. So we'll go pragmatic. Impulse thrusters. We'll improve a lot of our ships. Highly advanced fusion powered thrusters provide ships with unmatched maneuverability and speed under supplied condition. It's in the research agreement with the Ihan and so has a very high speed of research. We're waiting though. But we cannot build another habitat at the moment. We're also waiting for the election to see what goes on. Foundation of Chogna lost even more. The poor remnant of its former glory. The other thing's consciousness on the other side is growing ever more powerful. Just like our friends, the eye highs. Now it's also about maybe acquiring more friends, the cartel of the fifth son. Could they could we invite them to Federation? It's close! They would consider it. They would consider it. We might we might try out. What's going on here? The I High Star League wishes to declare war against the Elder Things consciousness. Woo They're superior to us, us with their fleet power. They're connected to the Shoggoths, but they are pathetic. They are already at war with the Chognas and the Yug. I must say, this is a brilliant plan, and if they want to do this right now, the things the Shoggoth Dominion might send things to us. I think we have to say yes. Let's look. The despotic hegemony. Definitely right to declare war on them in the Shogoth Dominion is a bandit kingdom, dictatorial even. Well, yes, yes, I High Star. A declaration of war has been announced. We will help you lead this war. And we'll also try to defend ourselves. Now, where would the Shogoth Dominion come from? Probably from this part. 
heart of the galaxy, right? So um, we must prepare in Fevalium definitely and maybe soon in Plato and we can that, we can do that as our starbase capacity has went up. So let's upgrade this starport. Procyon is also something, but we have people here. Let's create that citadel. First citadel. Our fleet is ready. Our fleet is also good. We could build something, one thing. Let's uh, see, we could reinforce the fleet. There's a lot um, this, of destroyers missing. Yeah, we can re reinforce that fleet. Let's probably... Should we do that right now? No. We don't have the fleet power. We need to stay reasonable. We'll stay in Ishara to be able to help them quickly by flying over to Pua, where the gateway, the natural wormhole is. Other than that, we're staying here, at the center of our empire. Expanding what we can and where we can, and expanding here as a sort of inner expansion. We got to just, we got to look if there is something going on with the Raiders. A good raiding target, the Dominion of Yig. That was not good last time. The Rexicodium Reavers. Not really, okay, okay. We're improving everything we have and we need to use our habitats now to improve the energy credit situation so we can use the citadels to defend ourselves well it needs to be done also there is an election coming it's also very very important So, along with the Favalian station, we might upgrade Alpha Centauri as well. That station to a citadel. I think we'll do that. Here we go. And that's also at the front of possible events coming. A declaration of war has been announced. The flying polyps against the Logix Principality. Monsters against each other. Really monsters. A declaration of war has been announced. Wow. War is spreading here. The queue is complete in the Saturn habitat. What should we go for next? Probably this Fanguid here. Needs something. He's intelligent. Well, this is where he lives, so we might just as well use that he's intelligent and a natural sociologist. Go for a laboratory complex. Same goes for the child of Atlantis here. And this Lothrapian is also rather into research. So let's construct this. Let's look into our fleet manager. We should probably build one battleship or something. Can we steer that? Wow, that would be too much. And the election is coming. 
as we've foreseen it. The negotiations for appointing a new chairman are underway. Baltic Jr. is pretty good. We love to have him. Uh, but there's other people too that are good. So let's see, native privilege. No, 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 no. A new generation. Not that bad. Anna Bergmeister, the warlike one. Battleship build cost goes down. Weapons damage plus 5%. But um, home in the sky, fleet organizer and champion of the people. Just a combination that is too good. Again, in times of war, we influence an election. Baltic Jr., you are still our leader. Now let's have a look around. The Elder Things, how good are they? They have a fleet of 22,000, of 11,000. It's something we can't tackle. The single fleets we can tackle. How are our allies? They, the, our allies also have the Federation fleet under control. It's definitely a good thing to have, and look at that. They have a 40,000 fleet, and here a 30,000 fleet. They're definitely good enough for this. Overwhelming fleet power. Uh, good friends. Oh, haha. Greetings, Patron Baltic Jr. We've recently been forced to scrap most of our technical equipment due to a manager malfunction. Would the materials that scrap be of any use to you by any chance? Um, and there we can say we will repair it for you. We'll bring us 50 influence and we'll just do that because we love influence. We have that again. We'll repair it for you again. What's going on there? Nothing in, against 100 influence. It's a pretty great thing to have. Who are these? Mirinigri. They are psionic. Wow, and industrious. So... We could give them something to do here with the Astro Mining Base. As they are industrious. We have a child of Atlantis here. Of course, laboratories. A Pokemon, a traditionalist. Mm. I'll send you here and you can be here and you. Anox Braxi is a natural engineer as well. Hmm. Another laboratory complex. Yeah, let's do that for now. It's okay. I have eye heist people here as well. Wow, they are also good at research. Really nice. And we can save up for <laughs> habitats while we're at war now again. We also save up our minerals. Habitat has finished the surface construction queue. Pretty good. Pretty good. And Gona Slug Gradeb has leveled up our intellectual snail. Nice. Let's see, in Sirius, we still, I think, need a colony ship. Let's go for our colony ship here. Yeah, we want a child of Atlantis, because we're just like that. Hmm. 
Mm, the blessed Xiclotls. Evaluated Chairman Baltic Jr. as a candidate for joining the blessed Xiclotl Principality. Sadly, we must inform you that membership requires a rudimentary brain. The blessed Xiclotl are also very near here. A superior and unfriendly, a ravenous hive, a devouring swarm. Well, they hate everyone, so we shouldn't be surprised that they are trying to get something on us. Brink Station on Plato. Mm -hmm. Well, we'd like a hangar bay and a missile battery and then a defense grid supercomputer, maybe. Go for extremely uh, extreme things here in Plato. Serious habitat is complete and ready for colonization. Well, it will have to wait a bit. That's something we unfortunately forgot a bit, but it will soon be there. And Admiral Ben Bedonak has learned to carefully use his supplies. Very good, he's a fluid logistician now as well. Leading to more minerals for us. Rivalry is going on. Receiving transmission. And the Ebian State. Xenophile pacifists. Holy tribunal, but a migratory flock. To spread their species across the galaxy through peaceful means. Mm. I mean, being so peaceful, we could support them. They are also not authoritarian. They are friendly towards us. We are friendly toward them. We'll say yes. That's a matter of role play. We, we want to have a friend at our side too. And this is definitely a good thing to have here. Can we offer them associations? Uh, they are associated with another federation. That's unfortunate. We would have loved these friends on our side. Of unity for reaching for the stars. Starbase influence costs reduced by 10%. Irrelevant at the moment, but the galactic ambition will be great. Reducing our starbase upkeep. So many starbases, so much upkeep to have to not have too. The food that is coming. Everything, everything. How is the war going? Are there any fleet encounters coming? Here, there's the reef. Are you moving to the reef? You're attacking a, some kind of star base. I get it. But a good fleet is coming there. Also, this is the crucial point, right? It's the only way they can access this eye highs area, so they'll doubtfully send fleets over. A declaration of war has been announced. Star spawn whereas the fishes from outside. This is also another really threatening giant. Something that we need to become as well, to survive here. At least in research, we're getting there step by step. Through all means, we seek to develop. Yeah, research yeah, we concluded. know the National Prosperity Foundation hates us at the moment. And we have lost something here. Hmm, not good. Impulse thrusters, though. These highly advanced fusion power thrusters provide ships with unmatched maneuverability and speed under supply conditions. We could go for the synthetic personality matrix now. 
for synth leaders, immortal leaders. Make a lot of sense. Yeah, let's do that. Synth leaders are definitely a good choice right now. So we go for them. Yeah, and what happened here? Let's see. Has there been a space? There has been a space battle in Ginium. And we lost that battle. How could that be? We won that battle, I think. Oh, yeah, that's why they have higher... They have higher uh, war wariness. Yeah, look at look at how we won that. They were 29k now at 24. Didn't nearly lose anything against the 20k they sent out. Everything is good. At construction this. project concluded. Saturn habitat finished the surface construction queue, but we need more here. We have a Dero coming. Intelligent natural sociologist. We have a minor synthetic coming here. We'll for an astro mining bay. The rest is the rest. Good things will hopefully come to us soon enough and look at that oh no look at do not look at that and yet when is it ready oh, in one year construction project concluded and now the elder things consciousness has a problem i already i'd expect the fleet power has already gone down a bit probably that will change massively later here we are Alaska. Colonize this. The serious next habitat is coming. Barnard Star Habitat. Five. Five pops. Well, we are building it. We are building. There's no doubt about that. There's a Miri Negri here, industrious and all. So we'll give him that. And there's energy coming here. That would be four. Let's upgrade this and then go for more energy. The processors are coming. We are now the leader, which means we have control of the fleets too. Fronds of purple. Why don't you? 50k fleet. There's a lot of fun to be had here. Fifth star order. No leader assigned yet. We'll send them over anyways. Where's this going? This is going to the wall. Okay, that's not a problem, I guess. Um, then we have the children here. The, the fronts of Purple Fleet. Fly over here. Attack this. Collect this. It's time to take over some stations. Let's troll them again. We're on a troll, uh, on a roll, whatever. The colonization phase commencing. That we have influence with a Federation fleet. Let's look over here. The card of the fifth sun. There will nothing come from that because they're xenophobes. They won't let anyone in. The Dominion of Jäger on the other side, they will let anyone through that hates us. Aha, Great Race of Yith versus the Blessed Xiclotls, that is good for us. 
Research concluded. A nutrient replication, even more food. The process of synthetically replicating crops requires a lot of collected waste to create a small amount of produce, but nevertheless provides a significant boost to agricultural output. Gene banks? It's too tempting. Let's go for gene banks. Also in the Yith research agreement, we have got a clone armies and clone rats. Yeah, we love these. These specialties we can get. And so, the possible creation of a, of a clone army. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. Make Thulu guide our ways in this war.